All right, what is up YouTube? It is Tyler Hummel. Guys, I'm back with a brand new video today. And today I'm gonna be exploring this absolutely humongous abandoned ski resort. So guys, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but this place is called the Navelle Grand Hotel and Ski Resort. Right behind me is this absolutely humongous hotel. I cannot wait to go inside. And then there's a bunch of other buildings around the entire property. So yeah, guys, like I said, this was a just a humongous resort with a bunch of things. Um, I know it was mainly for skiing. People would uh, would come here for probably like a vacation. This is actually in the Catskill Mountains, which is located pretty close to New York City. I'm about at like an hour, hour and a half north of New York City right now. And this place has been abandoned ever since the year 2009. Not sure when it's built, but whatever. Let's begin this awesome exploration, guys. Let's go. All right, guys, so here's a quick glimpse of the hotel from the outside. Like I said, pretty freaking big. And that's another building right there. And then there's more buildings hiding out in the trees back there. But I think I'm gonna start with the best, the best part of this place. I wanna get right into the hotel. I wanna get in here, see what it looks like inside, see what's left behind, and then make my way up to the roof. All right, guys, so I just made it inside and I'm already hearing noises. Ugh. What the fuck was that? Hang on. I hope I'm just hearing things because I really want to explore this place, the whole thing. By the way, guys, I am completely alone today out here in the Catskill Mountains. Probably not the smartest idea, but hey, it's what I do best, exploring abandoned places all alone. All right, guys, so I'm currently, I just found the stairwell. I'm going to start heading upstairs, up, this, up these hotel stairs. Oh. Maybe it's just the birds I'm hearing. I don't fucking know. I mean, shit, I'm alone. Give me a break, guys. That's why you should all smash the subscribe button and the like button, of course. Holy crap. All right, so, yeah, guys, this is the first floor of this place. So far. I don't see too much left behind. I probably will skip a few floors because I'm sure some of these look the same. And plus, I'm really, I really just wanna get on top of the roof. Like, that's why I'm so excited because I've seen, I've seen some videos from the top of the roof and it looks sick. So, and then plus we have a bunch of other buildings that we still need to explore, guys. All right, guys, I'm now on the second floor up here. Got some cool graffiti on the wall. Oh, yeah, this place is basically empty. People took everything out of here. Oh shit, look at that. Found a mattress. <laughs> it's the first mattress I've seen in here. Don't know what that is, but... Okay, let's see where I am. See, that's another building out there, so... I'm still really low. That's another building over there. Looks like you can get on the roof there, too. All right, guys, wait until you see this view. I'm currently on like the sixth or seventh floor. Wow, this is insane. Like that's the whole rest of like the resort and shit. Like I think that's where the main lobby is and stuff. And as you can see, the hills and the mountains in the background. Wow, I just thought this was an extremely cool view. This is definitely probably gonna be the thumbnail of the video. So yeah, guys, like I said, I'm on like the seventh floor. I skipped a few, I'm gonna keep heading up 
If I see anything interesting on the way up, I'll definitely record. If not, then I'll see you guys on the roof. Guys, look. Look, look, look. There's people running down there. <laughs> I thought, oh, they're trespassing. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just some joggers. I just heard people talking. But luckily, no one dangerous. Anyway, that makes me feel better. All right, let's get, let's keep going up. Wow, guys, I just made it up to the roof. It was actually a pretty quick, pr a lot quicker than I thought. But this, this is insane. Like, I keep saying every time I get to a new roof, rooftop in an abandoned place, that it's like the best one. But th this shit is the best one. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. You can see basically everything from up here. The whole rest of the freaking resort. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. The mountains, the hills. But yeah, I am on the roof. And it's really flooded up here too, unfortunately. Just to get over here to the ledge, I had to get my feet even more soaked, but you know, what's new? The trek, the walk here was brutal. I got soaked. This place is massive. Oh my gosh. All right guys, might call me a little crazy, but uh, I remember how scared of heights I used to be until recently. But yeah, look what I'm standing on right now, guys. This shit could probably break at any moment. Oh my gosh. And that's a drop right to the bottom. Holy shit. Such a cool place. Such a cool and abandoned spot. Wow. And so, yeah, guys, there's an active... There's a new resort right there. There's an active one. They can probably see me up here. But, oh, well, I don't hear any police sirens yet. So, I'm probably going to start to head down now. I'm going to get out of here. Um, I filmed a lot of cinematics up here because... What, a, what an insane view, but I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to get down to try to find the main lobby and explore the rest of this place. Let's go. Alright guys, I'm continuing the exploration right now. I just made it down from the roof and I'm currently walking towards like the main part of the resort. I wonder if it's all attached. Well, no. The only thing that isn't attached is the hotel. The hotel is separate. From the main part of like the resort and stuff. Like why did they even bother putting a fence up right here? That's stupid. Like people are literally... Oh yep, there we go right here. Alright guys, so I'm gonna head up into this building. Looks like another roof you can get on top of up there. Um, Let's see what I can find. Let's see if there's anything left behind here. And, yeah, I will see you guys on the inside. Alright guys, so, it is completely destroyed in here. I remember I saw a few YouTubers, like the proper people, and Sam and Colby come here many years ago. And it was not this bad in here. It was not this destroyed. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out now, though, what this part of the building was. Oh wow, that's pretty. That looks cool. The sunlight coming in like that. Oh yeah, I saw this part in a video. I think the proper people this was not this destroyed in here. Wow, look at that. That looks so cool with the sunlight coming in. Some furniture and crap over here. So I'm wondering what this desk area was here because I know this isn't the lobby. I don't know if there's like more than one lobby, but I remember in another video I saw a different area being the lobby. It wasn't this, but this was definitely some sort of front desk area right here. Huh. Alright, so I just made it into this other room over here. Holy shit. Looks like bandages came in through here. 
It is a little bit darker in here though, guys, so sorry about that. But, oh my god. I think that's mold. There's fucking mold everywhere in here. Yuck. That is disgusting. But surprisingly, it doesn't smell that bad. Like, you can smell it, but it's not that strong, which is good. But yeah, there's a carpet here still. There's a bunch of tables and stuff. I don't know if this was like a lounge area or like, I don't know, where people ate. Since all the tables, possibly dinner tables, stuff like that. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty much the end of it over here. I don't know if the rest of this building connects to the other half. Or maybe I'll have to go back outside to access the other buildings, but... Shit, this was pretty cool in here. This room was pretty cool. Really big, wide open. There is a handful of shit left behind all the tables and stuff. Someone was feasting on McDonald's over here. Alright guys, so I was just inside of this area. Um, next up, I'm going to try to get into this building. This one looks pretty big. Um, and then other than that, I mean there's that one. That looks like more hotel rooms. I'm assuming since there wasn't a lot of stuff left in that hotel, there probably won't be in that hotel. So I don't know if I'll check it out. I mean, I probably will. The doors are wide open. But for right now, I want to focus on getting in here and then trying to get up to the roof of this place, of that building. I still don't know where the main lobby is, though. I haven't found it yet. So hopefully I will come across that soon. Wow. All right, so I think I can get in through this little building and then that looks like it connects over to there. And look at that, guys. I just came across the swimming pool. I totally forgot, I didn't even, I mean it is a resort, so they gotta have a pool, but for some reason I didn't even think about it. Look at all that shit down there. Wow. This freaking pool is massive though. Holy crap. I think those, yeah, those are treadmills over there. I think that's the workout room. Holy shit. Pool's definitely massive though. Wow. Whew. All right, I think we're gonna go check out the workout room now. I can see a few machines left in there, so. All right, so yeah, we are in the workout room now. Look at that. There's a treadmill left. Forgot whatever the hell the, the name of this is, but that's left. Holy shit. Another treadmill. So yeah, there's only, there's only a few things left in the workout room. Next goal here is to find the freaking stairs. That will hopefully lead me up to a roof entrance. And also got to, of course, see what else is inside here. All right, guys, so I did just come across a staircase. I'm not sure where these ones go to, though. I don't know if it goes, oh, no. Definitely doesn't go up to the building I want to be on top of. It does go up to a rooftop that is absolutely freaking flooded, though. Yeah, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna head down now. And I am going to keep looking throughout this building to find the right stairs that lead over to the big building that I showed you guys from the outside earlier. All right guys, so while venturing through this building, I just found a freaking pile of mattresses. That's weird. I wonder why they're all down here. Like, what the hell? That's weird. Not sure what this room is. Like I said, there's a literal pile of mattresses over there, and then you have a table right here, a few tables laying around. A lot of these wide open rooms, though. Not sure what they are, but I'm still looking for that stairwell. And 
and so far it's been pretty quiet throughout this building. Haven't ran into anyone, which is good. <laughs> There's elevators right there. The stairs gotta ne be nearby. Oh, yep. Those are the stairs right there into that dark abyss. Fuck. Alright. Let's head on up. I'm surprised how fucking dark this stairwell is. Like if I turn this light off right now, it's literally pitch black. Huh. I wonder where this leads to. Oh shit, it's dark up here. Huh. Fuck, I just fell. Why the hell is it so dark up here? What, is there no fucking windows? Shit. It's creepy. I was not expecting this. Holy shit, guys. Fuck. I'm out of breath. Whew. I didn't think I'd be climbing that many stairs. So, I guess these might just be more rooms. There's fucking rooms everywhere. It's a wreck up here. Not sure if I want to go down. There's still... There's still more steps to go up. Anybody home? Fuck. Yeah. Looks like all these rooms are pretty much empty. Shit. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. All right, guys, so I'm still on the same floor, but I'm looking out the window right now. I gotta be up, I gotta be close, because there was no way in hell that this building was as high as the hotel, so I'm gonna keep going up, let's go. All right, guys, mission accomplished. I'm up here at the roof, I got up here at first, and the door was shut, and I was like, no way, is this shit bolted? But I kicked it open, so we're good, we made it. Made it to the second roof of the day. Holy shit. Damn. But yeah, guys, this building I'm up on top of right now, I guess this was just more rooms. But I checked out a few of the rooms. I went down that one hallway, and they were destroyed. Like, they were even more destroyed than... Well, in the other, in the main hotel, I mean, that place, there was basically, like, nothing even in there. Neither was this one, but everything was fucking way more destroyed. Damn. Oh shit, you can go up there, but it just looks like a dark room. Wow, what a fire view, just like the last view. All right guys, so I just made it off the roof, just climbed down all those flights of stairs, and I'm back in the main first floor of the building and I think this was like some sh sort of like showroom or auditorium sorry if it's a little bit darker in here guys but wow yeah because that looks like a stage right there doesn't look like there's really any seats left but oh yeah you can go up there too and shit huh yeah this place is humongous it has everything a pool freaking stage auditorium oh my gosh wow Yeah, look at this, some party shit. All right, guys, here we go, next building. This looks like more hotel space, more another, like, hotel area for guests. So we are gonna head on in here and explore and see what we might be able to find. Let's go. All right, guys, just found the stairwell. We're gonna make our way up here. That's creepy. Doesn't seem that dark up in this one. Just good. All right, let's see. All right, guys, so I lied. It is a little dark in here, but that's okay. Once again, just like most of the other buildings and hotels, that room's not too destroyed, actually. Look at that, there's holes in the fucking floor. That looks like it was an old TV. Something about a carpet and an old TV left in there. Yeah, there's fucking holes everywhere in this one. Yeah, 
Yeah, every loom, every room basically looks the same. The floor is literally creaking. Look at that. There's holes everywhere. Oh, look at that nice chair sitting over there. That looks like it was expensive. All right, so I think the, my plan for the rest of this video, holy shit, got the blue room in here. The hell? Bunch of random crap left behind, blankets and shit, beer bottles. Yeah, guys, as I was saying, I think my plan for the rest of this video, honestly, I don't, I can't even tell how long I've been filming for now, but I'm probably going to explore this floor, head out of here, because this is not a big building at all. There's like two or three floors, you know, whatever it looks like down here on this, on the first floor, I'm sure it'll just look the same up on the next two floors. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to probably, there's still curtains on the wall over there. I'm going to um, head out of here and then I'm going to head back to the main area because the main area of the resort is absolutely humongous. Like this is definitely a place I'm going to come back to in the future, but it's humongous. So I'm going to head back over there. I'm going to try to explore a little bit more and then I'm going to probably end this video off. All right, guys, so I've been walking around the whole freaking resort for a while now, and this is the main lobby. I finally found it. It looks like part of it's collapsed, though. I hope, like, the main part isn't. Oh, damn, yeah. It did collapse in there. That's sad. Because I used to see... I saw pictures from in here before, and... It actually looked really cool. Holy shit. Yeah, guys, here's an update. The main lobby at Navelle Ski Resort is completely collapsed. Got a couch right there. That's the fireplace right there. Yeah, it looks like this whole side of the roof collapsed. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, the main lobby, it, it definitely... It's definitely not that big, either. What does this say? Navel, that's the name of it. Hold on, let me get my light, guys. Navel Grand. Yeah, Grand Ski Resort. The Navel was the first resort designed in the Kirkbride plan. I have no idea what the hell that is. Huh. It looks like there's been homeless people sleeping back here, possibly. Shit. But yeah, really nothing much to the lobby. Fortunately, it it is destroyed, though, which sucks. Is that a bathtub? Huh. It looks like that was... It's a kitchen right in here. Wow. So I'm not sure what else was here in the lobby, but there's a full bathroom right here. And this looks like a bedroom because obviously there's a dresser and there's a big mattress here. So I wonder maybe if this is like where the owners or something slept. I have no clue. I'm just trying to come up with an idea as of why there'd be bedrooms right here in the main lobby. It's kind of weird. But yeah, I think that's all there to see over here in the lobby part of the resort. All right, guys, so I just realized I didn't go upstairs yet. I think I saw a few rooms up there, so I just want to head up here quickly before I leave the main lobby, make sure I see everything. I literally almost just tripped and fell down the stairs. Wow. It's like a cool, it's like a neat, unique setup they have in here. It just looks really cool, the way, like, the lighting comes in to the building. It's kind of like that throughout the whole resort, but this one especially... The lobby especially. And then, looks like there's one more room over here. Oh wow, yeah. Look at the view from here. That's so cool. Wow. Oh shit, what do we got here? Oh shit, what do we got down here? Look at that, there's, it's all wood now. So the main lobby is definitely 
a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, I don't know. I guess some people just got to sleep in the main lobby. No clue why, but these are definitely all bedrooms up here. Nice. And they're, and they're not small either. Pretty decent sized bedrooms. All right, guys. So I'm outside of the resort right now, and I'm currently walking up to what it looks like an outdoor pool. There's an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. I didn't even realize that until until I just saw it now. So let's check out the outdoor pool. Looks like maybe you could sit up here. Yeah, the pool is right over here, right down there. This is cool. Yep, that is the pool right there. And it's technically, you can go swimming. The water's dirty as hell, but holy shit. And that one, holy crap, that one is massive. That's even bigger than the one inside. I'm gonna go take a closer look at it. I'm gonna go right up to it. Let's head down. All right, guys, so this is the pool up close. Holy shit, it is dirty. But you could definitely go swimming for sure, that's for sure. I literally just saw a freaking frog swimming down there. That thing was humongous. He just flopped out of the water. I don't know if he'll jump again. Wow. This was a big area down here. There's the hotel in the distance. Yeah, I think I think when I was up at the roof, I did see this. But for some reason, I didn't, like, realize the... I totally forgot about it, though. Holy crap. This is one big-ass pool, though. Never seen a pool this big. Whew. All right, guys. I am going to go swimming now. I'm going to walk down the steps and jump in. Yuck, that's so gross. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I thought there wasn't water on that step. Great. What's new? My foot soaked. Jesus. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. Okay, there's something on, there's something going on over there. I don't know if it's construction, but I hear, like, loud tools and bangs and shit. All right, guys, I am literally exhausted. I've been exploring this place completely alone for the past two hours, and so guys, I think I'm finally gonna decide to wrap this video up. This place is absolutely humongous, but I'm telling you guys, when you're alone, especially alone, and you're exploring such a humongous, abandoned place, it does get a little overwhelming. You don't even know where to start or where to finish, but I did start where I think was the best part to start and the best place of this whole area, which was the hotel right behind me. You guys can see in the corner of the screen right there. Um, I went in there, I searched through a few of the floors. There really wasn't much behind, but mainly I wanted to get up to the roof and that's exactly what I did. I got to see an absolutely awesome view from up there. And so although guys, there's definitely more to see here i feel like i've seen the coolest parts though but there is more to see that's for sure and you guys will just have to wait for a part two video because like i said i'm exhausted guys i'm probably going to come back here with cora for a part two video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this insane adventure it was definitely worth it this place like i just said absolutely massive it was really worth the hike here it was like a 20 minute hike so now i have to hike back to my car and I don't even know where it is. I was literally hiking through the woods, so I'm gonna have to pull up some freaking coordinates and find out how to get the hell out of here. Peace out, guys.